What I'd like to talk to you about today is how to create a new supplier record. When you first open your Sage, you will have a window which says Welcome to Sage 50 Accounts. This is what I call your view window. And the first one that opens is your welcome page. On the left hand side, the screen is split up into three parts. The first part is what I call task, and it's very often new activity to do with your modules. For example, opening new supplier, opening new customer, creating new invoices, that type of thing. The second part, it's called the links, it's usually more historical. It's looking at things that have already happened in Sage. The third part is your module list. If you set your mind back to manual bookkeeping, you would probably have had some maybe some shelves with some folders on it. And maybe your first set of shelves would have been for all your customers' information. And then the second set of shelves will be for your supplier's information. Sage work in the same process. The first one that comes up in Sage is the customer, supplier, and you can work down the list. For this lesson, we're going to look at suppliers. So the module we want to open is the supplier module. We put our mouse where it says supplier, and you press the left mouse button once. Now, your module will be wide open like they are on my computer at the moment. When you first start in Sage, this is brilliant because you can read the words to do with the module. However, it has a major downfall, which is you can't see all of the choices of links behind. And I do like to have as much of my choices visible when I'm working. So what you can do is to bring your mouse until you turn into a double black arrow, like it is now on my computer, press the left mouse button and keep it holding down, and bring the mouse towards you. And what happened then is all those modules become small which means you can now see all your list of links. Now, I know the downfall of this way is that now you can't see the words to do with the module, but if you just put your mouse on any of them, Sage will tell you. You can tell your suppliers, company, and you will get used to it very quickly with your mouse on the module saying supplier, press the left mouse button once, and you'll come up with your supplier module. So your supplier module is your folder with all your supplier information. This is what they call the supplier process. And if you go on to the right hand side, put your mouse on the little arrow next to change view, press the left mouse button once, you will come up with three choices. So the one which is in light color and ticked is the one you are in at the moment. It's an interesting window to look at, especially when you begin because it might remind you which step you're supposed to be taking. Now, there is another window, another view, which is the supplier's view. The supplier view is the one I use all the time. So what I'll do is I'm, I'll come to that one last. We're going to move on to the supplier dashboard. Putting your mouse on supplier dashboard and pressing the left mouse button once. Now this can be a very, very useful window to look at because some people are much more visually orientated. You can print it at the top there. All right, so we are going to change the view now to bring up what's called the supplier list. Put your mouse on change view on that little arrow. Press the left mouse button once and then bring your mouse across onto suppliers. When your mouse is onto suppliers, press the left mouse button and the supplier list will open. 
Now, I love that view in Sage. I absolutely adore it. Why? Because a lot of the basic information are already here in full view. So what do we have? Let's go through the information. I'm just going to make my window a little bigger so you can see a bit more of it. Here we go. Here, in that column, you have something called A-C. A-C stands for account reference. Account reference is a unique number that you are going to give to each of your supplier. Now, that is very, very important. It's a unique number. What it means is that you cannot change it. So before you set up your suppliers, make sure you have a think about your system. A-C, account reference, is eight characters. can be letters or numbers or a mixture of both. You have to establish a rule that is going to be fixed for your business that will work to the end of days. Now the next part on the screen is the name. You have all of your suppliers name li listed here. You have the balances and the credit limit. So for example here where you've got one coming up in red, that's because they have exceeded their credit limit. And Sage quite good like that because Sage will highlight in red when something is not quite right. You have the first contact name and the first telephone number. So you could just from that window pick up the phone and phone your supplier. The other reason why I like this window is because everything can be ordered alphanumerically. So let's say you know the name of your supplier. All you have to do is put the mouse on name, press the left mouse button once, and it order it by alphabetical order. In this case, it was already ordered, so it came up with the W. And all I have to do is press the left mouse button again, and it'll come back with the lowest letter or the lowest number. And then you can scroll down to find the supplier you want. And most of the window in Sage, those little gray area, can be ordered. So for example, the balances, I put my mouse on balances, press the left mouse button, and they come up with the lowest balance. In this case, a negative. This is what I think is a fantastic window.